Hey guys, welcome to another Tea Time show with me, Mark Tillerson. Uh, today's show is about Google Ads and uh, this kind of exciting new Google Ads lead generation form. Uh, so this is an ad extension you can add to your Google Ads campaigns um, and the user can fill in a form directly on their mobile device to opt into a newsletter, download a free guide, request a callback, uh, directly from an ad. So this is kind of leading on from Facebook's lead gen forms, which we've been using for quite some time now. Um, and in this show, I'm just going to show you very quickly uh, where this option is and how to set a Google Ads lead gen form up. And then secondly, I'm going to show you what to do with that data to automate it, to push that maybe into your CRM system or send an email to your sales team. Uh, so let's dive in. So the first thing to know about the Google Ads uh, lead gen forms is they only work on search campaigns. They don't work on display and they certainly wouldn't work on Google Shopping campaigns. So you need to just head into your Google Ads account, go into a search campaign. Um, the Google Ads uh, form extension is added at campaign level, not ad group level. So that's something you might need to think about the structure of your account. Um, head into uh, just the ads and extensions and then extensions and then quite simply click the plus and then you'll find lead form uh, extension beta. And the first thing you're going to see is uh, a form asking you to opt in that looks a little bit like this. Uh, so you'll need to go and go ahead and accept those uh, terms of service. You're not going to abuse the data. You're not going to steal it. You're not going to sell it, that kind of stuff. Um, if you're like most users, then you're just going to click accept blindly and kind of crack on, which is fine. So we click the lead form extension. Uh, we've added that to a brand and then uh, we can pick uh, one of these options. Contact us, sign up, apply now. So let's say get offer. Something like that. And then our description, uh, just pasting that into save you some time on the video. Um, and then you can see uh, how that text is going to appear. And then we can choose do we want that person's name, their email, their phone number, their postcode? Now remember, the more things that you ask for here, the less likely it is that someone's going to fill this form in. Um, so that's something to consider. So if you just want uh, contact details to phone someone, then just name and phone number. If you want their email address to email them, just maybe this is an opt-in for a guide or a free voucher or something like that, then uh, you could automate that and push that into your email marketing software or whatever and completely automate the whole thing. So don't ask for too much. Uh, the more you ask for, the less people will complete the form. Um, but once we've selected those, you'll need a privacy policy on your website. Hopefully you've got one of those and paste the URL in there. And then uh, you can upload an image or grab one just quickly that we used earlier. So let's just put that one in there just as an example. And we can start to see uh, what this thing looks like. And then we can start to also work on uh, our uh, thank you message. And then we can have a call to action to do something or not. So we can then say, OK, download. And then you can go to the URL where your download is, uh, whatever it might be, uh, or visit the website, whatever you need to. So that's how you create the, uh, the Google Ads form, the lead gen form. Um, so the next question is, and this is uh, something I have a particular bugbear with, with Facebook ads, um, and Google's kind of gone the same route as well both doing is effectively saying, okay, we have your lead, we have these that's this information, and it's in our system. So that means you need to manually go and check constantly uh, whether you have any leads. Now, if you are kind of a fast moving business and someone is asking for a quote for maybe car insurance, they want a quote immediately. The faster you call them back, the more likely it is you're going to close that lead into some, uh, into some business. So you want that lead straight away. So you really want that in your inbox or to your sales team or straight into your CRM system. So there is an option here. Uh, so if you have a nice clever developer like we do in-house, 
then you can use a uh, webhook and make this system do something. Um, if you don't have a nice and clever developer like we do, then uh, you can use some third party software. So I'm sure there are more systems than uh, Zapier, but uh, I use Zapier quite a lot. And effectively what this does is connects uh, different applications together that use APIs and webhooks and stuff. And one of the systems it connects to really happily is Google Lead Form extensions. So we can connect that application, we'll need to authorize it, and then we can connect it with MailChimp or Salesforce or Slack or Gmail or Google Sheets or multiple, many of them if you want to. Uh, you could even tweet that you've got a lead if you really want to. Probably you will do that for privacy settings. But there are a whole bunch of CRMs. So there's uh, HubSpot's in here, Zoho's in here, all sorts of stuff that you could do. Uh, you might even be able to send an SMS. So you could send your sales team an SMS with a phone number that you collected, anything it might be. So that's going to do something with this data. Um, and that's really important. Great that we're ca capturing leads, um, but really we want to do something with this data. Um, and then you can connect this up, follow the routine with Zapier. I won't go into that in this video, maybe some other time if enough of you ask me how to do that. Um, but we'll do a video on that. But uh, essentially, you're going to start delivering leads to your CRM system by text message, however you want to. Uh, within minutes of somebody filling that form in directly from your Google Ads campaign. Uh, so uh, if you do need some coaching on this and you need some consultancy, you need some help kind of setting this stuff up, uh, then we do uh, a lot of consultancy and coaching on a help basis. Um, if you'd like us to complete a Google Ads audit on your account and tell you where there are opportunities to get more leads, then do get in touch, uh, comment on the video. Uh, if there are any questions you have on this, we'd love to hear your comments. Um, but do remember to subscribe for more uh, Google Ads videos uh, to help you get more from your campaigns.